Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the issue where we cannot find the USB microphone listed in our audio inputs. So I have uh, my headset microphone here, but I don't have my Blue Yeti microphone here in the audio input section. And today I'm going to show you how to fix that on Windows. So the issue that we have is that we actually have the microphone actually attached. If I go to the sound settings here, and if I right click on the sound settings, I can click on here, open sound settings, and I can see all of the audio devices is attached and you can see here I've got my USB microphone here and as I'm talking this level meter is going up and down and uh, I have this correct so you, this needs to be on this in order for it to appear within DaVinci Resolve however this is not appearing in this section here under audio inputs and the way to fix that is that we have to find the sound settings in the old sound settings not the new sound settings so this is the Windows 10 or Windows 11 menu and we need to use the older version of this so there's a shortcut here on the top right hand side for this, or you can also go through it through the start menu. So for example, here we can go to start menu and type in the word control panel. And then if we go to hardware and sound, and then we go to the sound settings here, then we have access to the kind of the old sound settings menu. And we can also get through it here with the related settings menu here, sound control panel. And this is going to give us like the true sound settings. And uh, here we've got the output, so this is my speakers, and what I want to do is use the recording tab here, and I have lots of different microphones, etc. attached. However, the one that I want is actually this one here, the Yeti stereo microphone. So this is my USB microphone, and as you can see, my Vengeance 2100, that's the headset, is set as the default communications device, and this is set as the default device. What I need to do is to basically select my USB microphone and then click Set Default. And then that's come off that microphone there. This often is no longer the default communication device. And also what I'm gonna do is to actually disconnect this. So I'm just gonna disable this for now. Once I've disabled that, you can see that we now have the Yeti stereo microphone available here. So my headset was actually blocking my Yeti stereo microphone from appearing in there. What I found is that if we disable it and enable it, and that will basically toggle for the Yeti to appear in this section here. So that's all done. So let's say I wanna add this Yeti stereo microphone to the audio track. I'm gonna select left and right, and then we're gonna add it to the left and right of audio two, which is where I want it to go. So once the microphone is attached to the correct audio track and all of the input settings are now correct, if you want to actually do a recording, what you need to do is to select the audio track and click the arm for record button. And then you can see that the microphone levels are being picked up. And then once you actually want to create an audio file, just click the record button and then it's gonna start picking up the waveforms of the voice that I've got. And then if we press stop, that's going to create the audio file that we need. So anyway, that is how you get the input back to normal on the DaVinci Resolve Studio using a USB microphone. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.